14th problem. Evaluate integral 0 to pi by 2 sin x to the power of 10 dx. So, these kind of problems are called reduction formulae. So, we have two formulae that is also called Wallis formula integral 0 to pi by 2 sin x to the power of n dx. If n is even one formula, n is odd other formula we have to apply. Okay. Here n will be even. So, let us do the problem now. Let i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 sin x to the power of 10 dx. We have the formula sin x to the power of n dx is equal to n minus 1 by n, n minus 3 by n minus 2, n minus 5 by n minus 4 and so on dash 1 by 2 into pi by 2. If n is even, this is the formula, this formula is known as, this formula is known as Valley's formula. So, let us apply. So, this is equal to 10 minus 1, 9 by 10 into 2 to difference is 2 to 7 by 8, 7 minus 2 5 by 6 into 3 by 4 into 1 by 2. See 1 by 2 will be the last and multiply by pi by 2. Any cancellation we have to do it. 3 1 ja, 3 2 ja. And next any cancellations? Okay, no, we cannot cancel anything. 63 into 5, 63 into 5. Sorry, so 5 1 ja, 5 2 also gets cancelled. 63 pi by 2 2 ja 4, 16 32. 32 into 2, 64, 64 into 8, 5 to 1. This is 5 to 1. So, answer is over. Fifteenth problem. Evaluate integral 0 to 5 by 2 cos x to the power of 11 dx. This is also Valley's formula. So, now solution let i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 cos x to the power of 11 dx. Let us write the recall Valley's formula. See integral 0 to pi by 2 cos x to the power of n dx is equal to n minus 1 by n, n minus 3 by n minus 2, n minus 5 by n minus 4 and dash dash 1 by 2 sorry this is odd number odd number odd number means 2 by 3 that is all. So, if n is odd you would not get pi by 2 it does not end with pi by 2 it end with 1 also or 2 by 3. So, let us come to the problem 10 by 11 this is 8 by 9, 6 by 7, 4 by 5, 
2 by 3 it is stop here 3 1 ja 3 2 ja 5 1 ja 5 2 ja any cancellations not, nothing now 16 32 32 into 2 64 into 4 64 into 4 means 256 256 by 99 into 7 63 693 okay 256 by 693 this is the answer next 16th problem evaluate integral 0 to pi by 2 sin x to the power of pi and cos x to the power of dx. So, you remember in the examination while solving this problem whenever 0 to pi by 2 sin x to the power of m cos x to the power of n dx is there we have the formula. Instead of 0 to pi by 2, 0 to pi or minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 is given, we have to apply the properties that will be the different case. But here we have the formula, here m is odd and n is even. So, if m is odd and n is even, suppose if m is even only it ends with pi by 2, you remember that is all. So, now let i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 sin x to the power of phi cos x to the power of 4 dx. Now, you remember the formula, you have to remember the formula that is very important. Integral 0 to pi by 2 sin x to the power of m cos x to the power of n dx is equal to m minus 1 m minus 3 so on into next n minus 1 into n minus 3 and so on into divided by m plus n m plus n into m plus n minus 2 m plus n minus 4 and so on. You remember this one. So, now we get m minus 1, phi minus 1 is 4, 2, that is all, ok, into, so next 4 minus 1 is 3 into 1 by m plus n, m plus n is 9, is 7, 5. So, next 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 minus 2 1, leave it. This is equal to 4 into 2 into 3 by 9 into 7 into 5 into 3, 3 3 gets cancelled. So, 8 divided by 35 into 9, 45, 27 plus 4, 31, 315. So, this is the answer, 8 by 315.